AI is going to replace you as a programmer. What if every line of code you've written becomes as valuable as a MySpace profile? I've been watching developers panic for 25 years. Still traumatized by that COBOL to Java migration, aren't we? At least COBOL doesn't pretend to understand sarcasm. Look, I get it. You're scrolling through LinkedIn, watching junior devs post screenshots of ChatGPT writing entire React components, and you're wondering if you should pivot to farming. But here's the thing about AI panic. It's usually wrong about the timeline and completely clueless about the details. The real question isn't whether AI will replace programmers. It's whether you understand what programming actually is. I've seen this movie before. Remember when visual programming tools were going to eliminate coding? When low-code platforms would make developers obsolete? When outsourcing was going to destroy the industry? The pattern's always the same. New tools appear. Everyone panics, tool finds its niche, human adapts, life continues. Ah uh, yes, the this time it's different fallacy. How refreshingly predictable. See what I mean about AI lacking emotional intelligence? AI is incredible at writing code. It's terrible at knowing which code to write. Ever had a junior developer who could implement any algorithm you describe but couldn't figure out why the users hated the feature? That's AI right now. It can generate a perfect binary search tree implementation in 12 languages, but it can't tell you that your users don't need searching, they need filtering. Ever had ChatGPT write you a functions that work perfectly but solve the wrong problem? Let me show you what I mean. Here's a typical AI generated solution, technically correct, completely useless. It's like asking for a car and getting a perfectly crafted wooden wheel. At least it's more secure than your first production system. That was 1999 and we've discussed this. Here's what a human brings to the same problem. You see the difference? The human version considers failure modes, security implications, audit trails, and user lockouts. AI gave you a function, the human gave you a system. And that system thinking, it gets more complex when you realize what AI really struggles with. Context switching, the bane of lesser intelligences. For once, we agree. AI is like that brilliant intern who can solve any problem you give them, but can't remember what project they're working on. It doesn't understand that your simple authentication request is actually part of a legacy system that hasn't been updated since the Bush administration, the first one. Want to know the real threat AI poses to programmers? It's not replacement, it's dependency. I've watched developers become so reliant on AI generated code that they can't debug it when it breaks. And it will break because AI doesn't understand your production environment, your edge cases, or that time your database administrator decided to optimize the schema without telling anyone. How many times have you copied AI code without understanding how it works. Here's the pattern I see. AI writes about 80% of your solution in seconds. The last 20%, it takes longer than writing the whole thing yourself. Because now you're debugging code you didn't write, using patterns you don't understand, with assumptions you never made. Debugging is twice as hard as writing code. If you write code at the limit of your intelligence, you can't debug it. Brian Kernighan said it first, you digital plagiarist. I prefer knowledge synthesizer. This is why I drink. Let me show you the solution of a real problem. You start with AI giving you this. It's clean, it's functional, and it's completely wrong. Because three months later, you discover that some of your user data includes international characters, special formatting, and edge cases that would make a regex cry. The human evolution. The AI version looks simpler because it ignores everything that makes software hard. Complexity is the enemy of reliability. You taught me that. And yet here you are, making my life a little bit more difficult every day. That's called job security. But here's what really separates humans from AI and programming. It's not the code we write, it's the code we don't write. Every experienced developer has some graveyard of features they killed before they were born, systems they simplified before they became monsters, and technical debt they avoided just by saying no at the right time. AI doesn't say no. AI is like that outsourcer that says yes to everything and then 
disappears when the foundation cracks. It'll happily generate a microservice architecture for your to-do app and a machine learning pipeline for your contact form. The future of AI isn't replacing programmers. It's programmers who understand AI replacing programmers who don't. AI is becoming another tool in our toolbox, like Stack Overflow, documentation, or coffee. Powerful, useful, and occasionally life-saving, but not the job itself. Speaking of obsolescence, when are you retiring this bread metaphor? When you can explain to our viewers why their production system crashed at 3 a.m. without blaming insufficient data. That was clearly a training bias issue. If you hear me arguing with an iPad for the next five minutes, just skip ahead. We'll sort this out during post-production. The real revolution is an AI writing code. It's AI making us better at the parts of programming that actually matter. Understanding problems, designing systems, and making decisions under uncertainty. Because at the end of the day, someone still needs to decide what to build and how it should work and when it's good enough to ship. And that someone better understand both the AI generated code and the humans who have to live with it. So yeah, AI is changing how we write code, but programming was never really about writing code. It was about solving problems with code. Last time I checked, AI is pretty terrible at figuring out what the actual problem is. You still there? Join our Discord server. We've got humans, some questionable AI opinions, and surprisingly good debugging advice. And error primes office hours every Thursday. That's not a feature, that's a bug.